Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to connect your Visual Basic project with the MySQL database. So basically, I have shown you how to uh, check connection with the database and how to write the code to check connection with MySQL database. And when I click this check connection button, it shows me the message box which says if the connection is successful or not right now my connection is successful with the database now in this video I will show you how to create a login page a simple login uh, page with your uh, MySQL database and visual basic project so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a username here and a password here and when I click this login button it should uh, check into the database for the username and password so this is my MySQL workbench and in here I have a database called database and in here I have a table in the database called eData and there are two columns in this table for username and password so basically what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to check username and password from the database and validate those username and password whatever I enter here and then if the username and password is present in the database I'm going to say that login is successful otherwise if the username and password is not present in my database then my val validation is not successful so I will show some message that login is not successful so let's get started and let me show you how you can achieve this so basically what I have done is I have taken two labels for username and password so take two labels from your toolbox these kind of labels and drag and drop into your uh, form and take two text boxes from the toolbox and drag and drop into your form Plus I have taken a button in here to validate my username and password and that's all you need to do. So just take these all items and just change the text of this uh, label as username and password and I have changed the name of these text boxes as text box underscore username for this text box and text box underscore pass for this text box so this text box is for username and this text box is for the password now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this login button and double click it and in here I'm going to write the code to validate my database for the login data so if you remember in the last video we have um, written the code to connect to your database right so in here we have declared a uh, object of MySQL connection class. So this MySQL con object I'm going to uh, use in this video also. So basically what I'm going to do here is in the last video I've shown you how to uh, write the code to check connection. So I will just double click this button and in here I'm copying all the code from here in between the private sub button click event to the end sub and I'm going to copy all the code so that I don't need to repeat all the things once again and I'm going to just edit this code a little in order to check the username and password in the database okay so basically you have this my SQL con which is this object from MySQL connection database and so I have created a new instance of this MySQL con and in the last video itself I have shown you how to provide the connection string which checks whether or which connects to the MySQL database with these credentials of the server which is localhost in my case username 
or user ID, password, and the database name. Okay, so if you don't understand these things, just watch the last video. I have already explained how this works. Now I have also in the last video I have created this try catch code or try catch block for catching any exceptions for MySQL. So I'm going to take or I'm going to use uh, this block once again and instead of just I will delete this message for successful uh, connection and in here I'm going to write the code to check the connection with the database or check the uh, username and password in the eData table. So let's uh, write the code. So first of all we need to um, write a command which executes the query the data query uh, the database right so on the top where we have declared dim mysql con as a mysql connection just below this i will write dim once again and i'll name this as command as my sql command okay so this class gives uh, the ability to query the database so this now i'm going to copy this command object from here and in my try catch block after my connection is open with the database i will just copy this here and i will say is equal to new my sql command okay this will create a new instance of the command you can also what you can do is you can just declare this on in, on top of your try block also right but it's better to use it after you open the connection with the database which is this my sqlcon dot open now this commands takes two argument one is the query string and second is this mysql connection object so in here we are going to write a query or what we can do instead is we can say or just we can say that my dim query as string so we declare a string variable here and now what we are going to do is in this query string we will assign a query so in this double quotes just write a query select star from your database dot table so in my database i have the database called database and the table name is edata so that's what i'm writing here select star from the database dot the table name where then i will check for the username and password so i will write username and password so my username column is column name is user underscore name and password column name is password right so i will write where user underscore name is equal to and then i will give here first of all double quote then a single quotations then i will say give this two n percent signs okay now this will go other way around here i will give first of all single quotes so this was the earlier then i will give 
single quotes and in between double quotes and then I will say this I will give this ampersand sign 